is Dynamics 365? This might be a question that's top of mind for you if you're new to this whole Dynamics 365 thing. And uh, maybe you took a visit over to the Microsoft website and watched this really cool video about what Dynamics 365 is. But you might have been left at the end of that video thinking to yourself, hmm, what is Dynamics 365? So in this video, I'm going to explain to you in my own words what Dynamics 365 is, the way I would explain it to my seven-year-old niece. I don't always explain things to my niece, but when I do, I like to use fully animated videos. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Dynamics 365 is a package of cloud-based software. Cloud-based software just means that you access it from a browser on a computer or device like your cell phone. You likely use cloud-based applications every day. But Dynamics 365 is different from everyday apps you use because it is designed for businesses. It can be used by everybody in the business from the people who work in the office to the people who work at the store and even people who work in the factory. Not exactly. You can think of the package like a group of software that comes together. For example, if you buy Office, you get Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. But Dynamics 365 is a whole bunch of applications that you can buy. The first group of applications is referred to as Finance and Operations. Collectively, these applications are what we call an ERP. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning, but I like to think of it like everything resource planning because it is everything a business needs to run their organization. We've got finance for all the accounting needs in a business. They take care of paying the bills and collecting all the money from the customers. Next is supply chain management. The users of this application take care of buying all the stuff a company needs and selling the products and services they offer to customers. It also helps companies who manufacture products manage the whole production process. Then we have Commerce. This app is built for companies that have retail stores and helps them manage, or manage the registers in the stores. It also helps companies create and manage their websites. It even has functionality to help with call centers and customer service people that work in the office. Up next is Project Operations. This app is designed to help companies that run big projects for their customers. It helps with tracking time and expenses as well as planning all the activities in the project. Finally, we have Human Resources. This app is designed for everyone in the business, from employees to managers to the Human Resources team. They help with the whole hiring process, benefits, leaves, and so on. The second group of applications are referred to as Customer Engagement. Collectively, these applications are what we typically refer to as a CRM system which stands for Customer Relationship Management. But I like to think of it as so much more than a CRM system. Here we have sales, which is designed for the salespeople. It helps with keeping track of potential customers, actual customers, and their orders. Next is customer service. This is designed for the customer service people to help existing customers answer questions, find an order status, take complaints, and all the other things a customer service person does throughout their day. Then we have Field Service. This app is designed for organizations that send their staff out in the field. It can help manage the vehicles, the inventory, and the customer site visit. Think about the cable guy that comes to install the cable at your house. And lastly is Marketing. This app helps marketing people in the organization create emails, landing pages, and manage all the different marketing campaigns and ads they're running for a business. But 
wait, there's more. There is so much more. We've got things like Dynamics 365 Guides, which is really focused in on that mixed reality experience and using the HoloLens. You can use it for things like uh, shop floor control, manufacturing execution type scenarios. And we've also got it um, embedded into finance and operations with the asset management and field service scenarios. We can also use apps like Product Visualize, um, which is built on the Dataverse with customer engagement apps, which helps us literally visualize in a mixed reality type platform what a configured product would look like. We have Remote Assist, which is again built on top of the Dataverse and designed for Dynamics 365 customer service to help with and field service to help with that whole um, situation when I've got someone out in the field and I've got someone in the back office with the expertise that needs to help someone that's out in the field. We also have things like fraud protection, connected store, customer insights, and customer voice. We'll dive into some of these other applications in more detail in future videos, but I encourage you to check out the website at dynamics.microsoft.com to learn a little bit more about each one of these products. Mm -hmm.